Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. I decided to switch it up and hang out in here this morning. So, I woke up this morning and I was sore. <laughs> Like, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get out of bed. Like, that's how bad it was. I was immediately like, I'm wearing sweatpants today. I don't care what anybody says. And then I got up and moving and it wasn't so bad. My legs are a little sore, but I've always been able to push them a little bit harder, so I'm sure they'll come back around real quick. Um, but my arms not as much today as they were yesterday, so that is a win. Plan for today, I think, is to have a bit of a shorter day. There's some things I could do to make my day longer. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do them. And I think I'll kind of base it on how my body feels. Like, if my body is super sore and doing anything, sitting, standing, walking hurts, then I will abort that. Um, but, you know, if it's doing all right, we'll maybe stay around a little bit longer today. Although... Like, I really want to get a lot of writing done today because I only hit one goal yesterday, which was the right goal to hit, but, you know, we, sh we, should, we should do that. We should, we should get more goals. My brain's not exactly going the best right now. I got a decent amount of sleep, but I would like more, especially because my body needs it to recover, and my brain, like I said last night, needs it to recover because I've been pushing it pretty hard. Oh, well, though. I'm going to go. I'm pretty hungry, so breakfast drink time, and I will check back in at some point okay so i pretty much just got home from work it's just about one o'clock it was an interesting day at work because a lot of people are sick right now or not coming in or coming in and going home so there was like only two of us there um until my aunt showed up for her shift so this crazy and then i left so now there's only two of them there until later because there's an event tonight but yeah that's crazy it is a sunny day outside which is nice which is why i'm turning this way because i feel like i was getting terribly backlit also i gotta be careful because i got notes everywhere on my wall about stories so the plan right now i'm gonna have a quick snack um plan out my day and then I think I'm gonna go do some cardio I'm actually feeling fantastic right now it was rough in the morning getting out of bed let me tell you that but as the day went on it, it, it's good like I'm feeling perfectly fine now we'll see how I feel later but yeah I think I'm gonna try to get in one more day of exercise before I take a break tomorrow hopefully probably um and I'm also going to plan out my day on my little post-it note there and see what we can do. I want to do more words today than I did yesterday. I only did 2300 and change. Um, I'd like to do upwards around my 400, 400, 4,000 daily goals. So we'll do that. And maybe if we're feeling super excited, we'll query. If not, I am off Thursday, Friday in a row, so I can probably query then. So yeah, that's the game plan. I'll check in with you. <laughs> okay, so close day. Um, up we go to exercise. Yay! Um, so unrelated, I t have a um charging pad for my phone. Uh, so instead of plugging it in, I just toss on the charging pad. But because I have a really thick case and then a pop socket, it has to be in a very specific spot for it to actually charge. And I guess last night I did have it in the right spot when I first started, like when I climbed into bed, but I guess I must have bumped it while I was sleeping. So I woke up this morning and my phone wasn't charged. It was like half charged, but it's been a struggle all day to charge it. So it's kind of charged again. It'll be enough to get me through the exercising. If it's not like just kill me now because, <laughs> um, but no, we should be fine. And so I'm gonna do that. And then I think maybe give the kitchen a little tidy and then get into the writing goals and stuff. Figure out what for dinner, what for dinner. Figure out what we should have for dinner. But, you know, overall should be all right. Also, I'm so close to the camera right now. It's been sunny for many consistent days. This door lately is just not my friend. But you can like see grass outside. This is exciting. That's new and there's like blue skies. Oh, we need to wash that window. Anyway, away I go to <laughs> see after. The pink has returned. Also, my hair tie matches it. So, I mean, as long as you match, it's fine, right? I am dying a little bit. I was like, let's do some more like leg workouts than normal and like 
booty workouts and ab workouts. So we're hurting a little bit. I actually had to open the window, which is impressive because this room is not insulated, but I had to open the window because I was just getting so hot. But we're just about done. I'm stretching out. I might, I haven't done the bike, so I might just go on for like five minutes just to loosen everything up and then we're good to go. Oh, but I just, we're gonna need a shower real quick after this. changed my room is clean when I was making my bed I found my sweater underneath my blankets and it's so funny because this morning I woke up and I was like didn't I go to sleep with a sweatshirt on sometimes I undress while I'm sleeping I, like if I overheat although I think the most impressive thing I ever did was I woke up one morning and my pants weren't on <laughs> and I was like how and it was when I was living in Vancouver so I was in a loft bed so like I had like just a couple of feet between like where I where I was sleeping and the roof and yep just sweater off and pants I'm pretty sure that night so weird it's happened a couple other times too and I'm just like all right okay cool anyway um now that like my life is in order and I'm clean and I have a plan for dinner Oh, I shouldn't have sat on my bed. This is, I've gotten so lazy at making my bed because it's so cold, so I have to have this on here. And so usually, like, I put my duvet on and then I fold that at the bottom, but because I just have to keep pulling it up because it has been so cold, I just don't even care anymore. As you may have seen when I was making my bed, I was just like, Ugh. normally it looks prettier. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna get into the writing kind of stuff now. Gotta figure out a blog topic. I mean, if I want to. I've been trying to stay ahead of things by like having some scheduled in case I don't feel like writing. So I do have one for tomorrow, but ideally we will blog today and ideally we will surpass 4,162 words on the, the entire scale here. But my arms are feeling a little bit sore here. So I'm gonna go drink some water and hope that that helps. But oh yeah, oh my arms. I have a feeling they're gonna hurt tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we are not doing so well here. Um, I sat down at my computer to work and I wrote down my writing goals like for the day because what I like to do is put down the what 2,000 words will get me to so I know what I have to look towards instead of like having to look up there and going, okay, math. I mean, it's only 2,000 so it's not like it's massively difficult, but yeah, no, I did that and then I was like, oh, my body, because my arms were like, really like shaking and sore and they did not want to exist in the moment so I laid down in bed for a while and then the blanket came out so that just productivity just kind of ch -ch -ch -ch. and I was like all right 5 35 I'm gonna get out of bed I'm gonna get into this and it's now like 6 06 and I'm finally getting up I think I'm gonna try to work on this for do something for like half an hour and I haven't eaten dinner yet so I need to go cook dinner so we'll do this for half an hour and then we'll run upstairs. We'll make some food. What do I want? I was gonna do some chicken because I think some protein would be good, but maybe I'll just eat a bunch of cream of wheat because I've been obsessed with cream of wheat lately. I don't know why. I just, at every chance, I'm like, give me cream of wheat. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up so I can start writing and hopefully I can get some words going because yeah, that was that last like, I don't know, like an hour was, a fail hour hour and a half Ooh. it's amazing what I can do when I sit down because in 27 minutes I got just over a thousand words so that is awesome I am super hungry now though so I'm going to go make myself some food and then get back into this it's nice because the story's going well now it's going much better but it's going better I think I don't know I'm there I'm I'm there it's all about being mentally in the story, I find for me. And so if I'm struggling to mentally get into it, then I can't do anything. So we seem to be there now, which is great. Hopefully we'll stay in the world. Uh, but yeah, I need food now because I am hungry and I got some blog posts to respond to, blah, 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 blah. And by post, I mean comment, but it's cool. Gotta, we'll do the social media and stuff while we cook. It never stops. 
it never stops. <laughs> I am fed now and it feels so good. I didn't realize how hungry I was, but I mean, all I, it's my bad because after I worked out, all I just had a quick snack and um, I probably should have had like real food, but I didn't. And then I waited a long time to have real food, but it's fine. I am back at my computer now. Whoop, there it is. And we're gonna try to continue on. I just looked at the last two sentences I wrote before I went upstairs. I was like, hmm. Yeah, thanks, past me. That's not the most ideal, but we'll get there. It'll be okay. So I'm going to try to pound out another thousand words on the story here and then see how I'm feeling if I want to switch up what I'm working on or if I want to keep going on this. I'm like afraid to look at the other story to see where I'm at because I'm afraid if I look, I'll be like, oh, this is exciting. I want to go there. So I'm going to try to get the 2000 words done on my actual book first before I even tempt myself with the other one. So We'll see if it works. Update time. We are about 500 words to my goal count. I'm not going to go any further than that, I don't think, unless I get on a roll because I ended a chapter and now this next chapter I've been struggling to start it. I have 10 words into it, maybe, if I'm lucky. And it is just, it's... <laughs> I like, I don't... I know where I want to go, but I don't know how to start making my way there. So that is the struggle currently, but we only have 500 words to go. That's like 15 minutes if I can get going. So we can do this and then I'm going to go work on my fan fiction because I am losing the will to write. Unless, like I said, I get on a roll in these next 500 pages and I just want to keep going, but it's not looking likely at this point. I'm looking at what I have already written and like I see what it's doing but I have to do other things before I get there I think potentially I don't know that's where this is this is why I'm having a problems do you want to do you know what do, 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 do you want to know what the sentence is when I woke up it was well past noon there you go sneak peek first sentence of chapter five of book two <laughs> It's not a bad sentence, I just don't know where to go from there. So remember when I said I was just planning on writing my 2,000 words and then switching focus, but that I was like, you know, anything can happen in the next 500 words? Well, I ended up getting into a flow, getting into a groove of things, so I wrote 3,171 words for my actual book today, which is great because that's over a thousand more than my goal. We're feeling good, we're feeling great. Um, I didn't write myself into the corner this time, which is kind of nice. I just, I don't, I don't, I didn't want to write anymore, so I just stopped. But I'm, I'm not saying I don't want to write at all. Wink, wink. I just don't want to write this story anymore, so I'm going to switch focus now and um, see if I'm at all motivated by the other one. Like, maybe I'll just open it up and I'll be like, mm, I don't want to do this. But if I can even write, like, a thousand words, I'll have a new high score. And being super competitive, I kind of want to get a new high score. Except the problem is, is every time I get a new high score, then it gets higher. So we will see what happens. Also, my arm is a little sore. So this, this camera is a little heavy right now. But yeah, so I'm gonna shut up, put my music back on, and um, get into the fanfic and see how far we can go on that before, what time is it now? We got probably about 40 minutes before I should wrap it up for the night. Okay, we did it. It is a 10.30 on the nose and I finished writing. So recap, we did 3,171 of the actual book, so good job me. And I did 1,307 of my fan fiction, which is like 307 more than I need to hit my new high score. Actually, it was a little bit more than that. And so my new my new high score is 4,478 words for the day. That is awesome. We are working our way back up. There were days when I was editing before that I had like days that were 10,000 words, which is amazing. I don't think we're quite there yet. I don't know if we will get there, but we've made a lot of progress. I'm pretty tired now though. My body's starting to get sore again and I still have to edit this vlog. So I think I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure of work and working out and writing and a lot I feel like a lot happened and that's the problem that I have like when I do a lot of things I feel like a lot of days have passed but it's only been one day I'm sleepy 
<laughs> but yeah, I hope you stick around and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night. <laughs>